Continuing our Connected Congress initiative with U.S. Congressman Darren LaHood of Illinois' 18th District. Good morning, Congressman. This week, the House is considering one package of appropriations bills. What wins does this contain for your district? Well, uh, we are packaged together three appropriations bills, and one that we're watching in particular is the MILCON, Military Construction Appropriations Bill. For a long time, we've been advocating for a new firehouse at the 182nd Air Wing, uh, which is in the Peoria area, and we've got money allocated for that, about $9 million, long overdue for our military uh, facility that we have in Peoria, but it services all of Illinois, plays a very strategic role, and we were happy that we were able to get that $9 million in the milita military construction budget for that new firehouse will play a key role in the uh, services that are provided there. So we'll be watching that uh, as part of this bill that comes to the floor uh, tomorrow or the next day. Last month, I hear you met with leaders from Springfield and Sangamon County in D.C. What did you guys talk about? We had a great group from Springfield and from Sangamon County that came out to, to advocate on a number of issues. One was uh, we have a large rail relocation project in the Springfield area, and we met with the FRA, uh, Federal Railroad uh, Administration, uh, to talk about a number of things. There's an ongoing issue that pertains to some artifacts. Uh, I think we've made a lot of good progress to have the mayor, uh, our county board chair from Sangamon County, and a number of other elected officials here to advocate. We went down to the Department of Transportation, met with the FRA administrator, had a great meeting. Um, and so that was a big part of it. We're making progress on that. That rail relocation project is also going to do a great deal for our medical district in Springfield, which is obviously thriving and growing, and we want to make sure that continues. So that was a big part of it. And then secondly, our airport. Uh, we just announced this week that uh, there's going to be a $3.4 million grant given by the FAA to the, new, to the Springfield Airport for a new tower and for an expansion there. It's much needed and they advocated for that when they were out here and we helped to facilitate those meetings. So proud of both of those things that we were able to accomplish. But a, a big part of that credit goes to the group from Spring, Springfield and Sangamon County that came out here. And what are your thoughts on Majority Leader Mitch McConnell canceling part of the Senate's August district work period? Well, listen, yeah, I give um, Majority Leader McConnell a, a lot of credit. Um, you know, we have passed in the House 503 bills that are sitting in the Senate. The Senate has not taken up many of these good pieces of legislation that are sitting in the Senate. Secondly, there are many nominations, hundreds that are still sitting in the Senate. It's unprecedented that this Senate, uh, particularly the Democrats through obstruction measures have stopped judges, cabinet nominees, ambassadors from going through. And so McConnell said enough is enough. We're gonna cancel the recess. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna do our work until that gets done. And, and I give him a lot of credit for doing that. Um, you know, in, in the House, we don't have that same problem. We've gotten all these bills passed. Uh, and so, frankly, if the Senate gets this all done and they can send these couple of the uh, appropriations bills back to us, we ought to think about coming back at the end of that. But the ball is in the Senate's court. Hopefully they can get this work done that they need to. Finally, Congressman, what have you been doing uh, the past couple of weeks on the Hill? Well, we were happy this week. We passed a bill on the floor yesterday, uh, the Route 66 uh, National Designation Bill. It's through the National Park Service. And Route 66, as many people know, goes over eight states. And uh, much of the first part of the leg of Route 66 goes through our district, goes through a lot of towns from Tawanda to Bloomington Normal to Atlanta, Elkhart, Lincoln, and Springfield. And uh, our bill uh, that passed unanimously through the House yesterday uh, through the National Park Service makes that a trail designation. This highlights tourism around Route 66. On any given day, many people fly into O'Hare Airport, they rent a motorcycle, they rent a car, they get on a bus and they travel Route 66. So we were happy to get this passed, a bipartisan way. It now goes over to the Senate uh, and so happy to get that done. Next thing, we'll be working on immigration reform. That's a big issue that we'll deal with next week and the week after. Uh, and then also the opioid crisis. So I look forward to engaging in those debates. Congressman Darren LaHood, as always, we appreciate your time.